So what is going on guys, Fly here, and today I'm bringing you guys another GTA 5 video. So today I'm actually bringing you guys 7 videos for the Hipster DLC. These are all about the new cars that we've got, and tomorrow and over the course of the rest of the week, I'm going to bring you guys other videos for all of the rest of the new additions. So if you do enjoy the video and all of the others coming today, make sure to go and leave a like down below as it really would help me out, and stay subscribed to not miss any more. So, this video is actually going to be about the third or fourth new car that we've got, I guess depends how you're counting it, and this car is actually called the Vapid Blade, it's a muscle car, and is all very old style. Like I've said in the previous videos of today, all of the new cars that we've got in this Hipsters DLC are actually rehashes of previous vehicles that we've had in the series before, such as San Andreas, Vice City, and GTA 4. So this car looks slightly unique in so much as the front wheels make the front end of the car push up further than the back end. It has a very special bug catcher on the front, a very special engine poking out, and overall I found it slightly hard to make this car look very attractive. I'm sure to a lot of people you'd like it in any colour, I'm sure that it would just look absolutely great. But for me, I don't really see tons of appeal in this car, but I still need to bring you guys this video so that you guys could get some input. I ended up just going for this gold colour apparently, with a very bright lime green highlight to it. To me, this was just completely weird. I don't, I wouldn't really recommend this if you were going to a car show and wanted to make your car look nice. It just looks a bit odd. But this was nonetheless a fun car to drive. There hasn't been a car in this update that I've just flat out disliked or hated. So I definitely still recommend buying this car if you have the money for it. So like I said, there are seven cars today. So that's going to be a lot of spaces to try to fill up in your garage. You can see here that I put some very dark windows on it, but then ended up going back for it to try to keep the lighter theme going over. You can actually have the secondary colour roll cage on the inside of it, as you can see here I have a bright lime green one. So, I really hope that you guys do enjoy all of the rest of these videos coming today. I don't have tons more to say about this car, I'm going to be bringing out videos on the other cars, and have something quite interesting that I really want to talk over with you guys about one of these newest cars that we've had. So, that is pretty much it guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go and leave a like down below as it really would help me out. Don't just forget to stay subscribed for all of the other videos coming out throughout the day and throughout the rest of the week. That's pretty much it. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys in an hour or so for the next video. This has been Flair. Signing out.